What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video is gonna be on a Land Rover Discovery 2. Uh, so TD5, it's my brother's. He's coming around um, because he's got a couple of issues. Well, one issue really. Um, he's got fuel getting into the oil somehow. Um, he's noticed it when he's been servicing it, um, that it's a bit thin on the oil. Um, and he reckons there's a bit of diesel got getting into it somehow. So he has changed the, um, the injector seals uh, previously, but he didn't use genuine ones. He got the cheap ones, unfortunately. Um, and it's still, the problem is still there. So we're gonna change them today for um, genuine Land Rover injector seals. Hope that it's that, but he did say that when he was changing the last seals, that he did notice like a little hairline um, inside the, in the head, uh, like where the injector goes. So hopefully it's not something like a crack or whatever down there um so we're gonna fingers crossed we're gonna change the uh inject seals and hope for the best so it should be here in a minute so yeah we'll take you along put the camera there he'll be doing most of the work so let's get to it If I prime the fuel system, you can look down in between and see which ones it's leaking out of. You should see a little bead of fuel okay. leaking out in between the injector and its seat. Yeah. Come up. Lift up. Not much fuel. Because most of it's in the oil. <laughs> It's leaked out already. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's off, that's draining the fuel off into that tray. So now we just take the rock shelf bolts out, which are FT. Yep. And then we can use your ratchet for that. Yeah. <laughs> the old snap on, isn't it? Yeah. Only the best here. No little tools. <laughs> park right. No, what is it? <laughs> park park side. Park life. <laughs> park side. <laughs> that light was two pound ninety nine. Only the best for you. What more do you need? Uh cardboard. I'll do one at a time and then we know where we are. Some people use a eagle jaws or pipe grips. They take the bolt out in a small set. Yeah. And then use that, use half the handle to lever the injectors out. Right. You get a small heel bar. Prop snap on. <laughs> but not little. <laughs> not little. <laughs> Um, then you can just about get underneath it and just carefully 
They're gonna damage the head. That's it, she's out. Oh, goes the weasel. <laughs> right, uh, I need to bring the seal on. Use all that fuel into the engine. <laughs> Did you hear that? Is that what it was? Glug, 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 glug. Yeah, so it disappears down to the end. You mean fuel slash oil? Oh, that's steel. <laughs> fuel, oil, dirt. This now will probably, when we fire it up, will give an almighty cloud of smoke. Nice. Because it could go with a bang, actually. They do do that sometimes. That's good. That's what we like to hear. Yeah, so those are the seals that have been replaced. Together and it's that top one that's leaking. What the green? This, yeah? Yeah, that seal there is the one that's leaking. The fuel gets pressurised in between here. Yeah. Goes in these little holes and then fires out the bottom of the injector. It can either leak from this seal here and then drip onto the top of the piston. But you'll notice that on startup you'll get a big old cloud of smoke come out the back. Whereas mine isn't doing that, it's starting fine. It's leaking out the top one, or it's pressurising, and then going, dropping into the top of the head. And I'm mixing with the oil in there. Okay. Which is why you ended up taking nine or ten litres out of a six and a half litre oil change. Eight litre. Eight litre, sorry. Yeah. I mind six and a half, not Still bad, but not yeah. quite as bad. <laughs> the, um, the problem can either be that that seal is just not sealing against the head or there's a crack in the port which is in there. So I'm going to have a good old scalp in there because that's the one that we saw the leak, the fuel actively coming out of. Yeah. So this is the one that's definitely leaking. There's actually a special tool for putting this on. Yep. Straight. Have we got that tool? <laughs> that special tool is to stop you from twisting the O-ring around. But when you get it in, you can see a manufacturing mark all the way around. As long as that's in the same place, all the way around, it's not twisted. Should seal absolutely fine. He said it's on his third attempt. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, rent. But genuine seals this time. Genuine and a hundred percent genuine. We know they're genuine. Oh, diesel. There's diesel flying out of it. <laughs> right, so now a little bit of engine oil. A little bit of engine oil. Payne's manual says put a little bit on the around the O-ring. Clean the seat out before you uh, re-put your injectors back in. Very, very lightly. Just to get the car out. That's good enough. Right, and then. In she goes. In she goes. Careful not to drop the copper o ring in. If you do, it's not, not a great problem. Right, and then you want a nice clunk as it goes in. There we go. There's the clunk. Nice clunk. She's in. She's in the right place. Then use your magnet. Turn back in. Right. And then I'm just going to run it down with the nut runner, whatever that's got. 
There it is. I'm not going to tighten it, I'm just going to run it down. No tugga tuggers. No tugga That's it. And then we can torque that. So, what was the torque? 32. That is done. And what was the 33? 33 is for the rocker shaft, so I've done and I've set the torque range to 33, everything's getting 33. Okay. Because one new meter is. Here and all there. What's that between friends? Turning the cam low ground so I can get to the uh, oh, ouchie. Blood. Not yet. <laughs> Not the day's young. Uh, right, so let's try this little wiener again. What were you looking at buying? A Suzuki Vitara. Yes. Long wheelbase or short? Short, yeah. soft top. Yeah. Something like 50,000 miles. Nice. And. 1.6? 1.6, yeah. Yeah. Um, one lady owner from new. Yeah, That's the same as old. Never always. raced or rally. Never been in an NWA video. Yeah. <laughs> Black yeah. as well. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and then, yeah. How Pretty much? Nice. How much? £995. Really? On the island? <laughs> On the island. I might go and get it. Because oh. this is going to cost me stupid money when I put my head on it. So, I might as well go and get it, really. Yeah, let's go and get it. Should we do it? Yeah, drop everything. For a rinser. Do you want to go half each and just off road the hell out of it? Well, Emily was like, I want it. She said, I want it. It'll be um, the best car you've ever bought. And it's auto. Auto? Yeah. <laughs> 32. No mileage, I don't know, 50,000. Yeah, it's something like 50,000. Might have been, yeah. 995. 50,000, 60,000? Tempted 9, myself. 9, huh? Tempted myself. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Third car. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to get that Challenger. Where? Yeah. Uh, the thing is, being that we just bought that place, I keep thinking something's going to crop up in a minute that's going to cost me a fortune. The thing is, you, you buy assets like that, at least you can get rid of them. I wouldn't call a beating up old Suzuki Vitara an asset. <laughs> yeah, but you can get your money back, can't you? <laughs> yeah. It right. might not climb in value. Well, to be fair though, it might. Yeah. You never know. You never know. You never know. You look at the chimneys, I swear they're going up. It's going to be a classic eventually. And there's another one on there, 995, for a Suzuki, uh, for a Mazda si uh, Go that way. Come <laughs> <laughs> it. Mazda 636 or something. From 1980 something. Nice. Looks like an absolute poo piece, but it'd be worth it for a laugh. So that now, you've got that in, that's the perfect. Yeah. One of them. Yeah. From your snap on main dealer for a handsome sum of thousand pounds. Or in little for four eighty nine. Yeah. Good after that be fair. Oh she's a wet one. Oh god. Scrupulous cleanliness <laughs> is the aim of the game. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the future owner of my car doesn't look like this. <laughs> <laughs> having a new head anyway it doesn't matter yeah. <laughs> this will get you by won't it yeah. diesel covered fingers oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> did you mean to do that Definitely 
<laughs> Got it, right. <laughs> you missed that. What? Was it still filming? Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant, you caught it then. What? <laughs> Flicked off one. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> there we go. See that? Get that locked in. Just get them all started by hand. Yep. And then do them out. Do them up in sequence. You just want to go bit by bit, nice and carefully. Ooh, I need to sort of stall you sort of in. I'm not doing this up tight. I'm just doing it enough. What's that set? 33? Yeah. Newton meters? Yeah. Torque wrenches from Liddles. Nice. Must be accurate then. So it might be. <laughs> 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 Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> it might be 33. That's, that's because you were about to slag off the little, <laughs> the little tool. Uh, I told you I was going to fall off that stuff. <laughs> There we go, all 33. Nice. Back on. Hopefully I didn't wreck that injector while I knocked into it. Oh well. <laughs> this is definitely a not, <laughs> a not how to. <laughs> oh, I've lost Larry. Oh, hang on. Righto. Nothing yet. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Really obvious. Right guys, uh, I had to end the video pretty quickly there because uh, it started to rain, didn't want tools getting wet and all that sort of stuff. But as you can see, genuine Land Rover seals, they didn't really fix anything. Um, where the, the little rubber uh, O-ring seal thing is, the, that little hairline crack that we found, um, it seems to span across um, that O-ring, or that seal, whatever. So. No matter what you do it's it's just going to keep leaking so unfortunately we reckon it's going to need a new head so we're going to try and source all of them um if we if we do do that um we'll take you along i'll set some cameras up document it so um subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that if you're interested um but that's the only that's the plan really you're gonna to have to go and get a new head um, and stick it on hope for the best because can't really see a way way around it without bodging it so might as well do it properly um yeah thanks for watching um if you can give us a like um down there little like button that helps the channel grow uh gets the videos up there a little bit more um but also if you're if you know anything if you're a bit of a land rover expert or whatever or you know the td5 engine quite well leave a little comment below just to um any tips or whatever um or anything that you might think it might be might think it might be that you think it might be if that makes sense um in case we're missing something but we're pretty sure it's the head needs a new head so we'll have to uh wait and see but yeah thanks for watching hit the subscribe button all that sort of stuff and uh i'll see you on the next video cheers guys <laughs>